on over for the Elks to take on the Panthers. Here, this one starts Christensen getting that dig. Mortensen sends it over to Hoiby for the kill. The Panthers starting off strong. This one continues as the Elks send this one over. But this long rally, we get to see which team is able to come up with it. But doesn't tip off of her. It goes out of bounds and the Elks will get that point, getting to win that first set. Going into the second set, they continue tapping this one over. The Panthers, with that quick push, keeps the Elks off guard, getting that one. Continuing in the second set, bam, Panthers finding the floor yet again. They get to win the second set, 25 to 21. Here in the third, Mortensen sends this one wide, but the Elks able to recover, keeping this one going. But as you continue to see the Panthers working together, here comes Albers at finding that floor again. Panthers pushing on up, looking to find that third set win as they did here in the fourth. This one out of bounds. But as the Elks continue to push this one around, they come for the kill and they get it. In the fourth set there, we're seeing the Elks gonna win this one 25 to 21 with this shot. And that will continue to be how the Elks see this one rolling. Fifth set, who's gonna win this one? Albert sends the serve long and the Elks come away with the 3-2 win. Tough one there for the Panthers. They're one and six in the last week. They've had two matches go to five sets and they lost both of them. Bengals and Cougars are both four and three in that sticky Northwest Suburban Conference where Maple Grove is seven and oh, and then you got Andover and Champlin Park right there at six and one. Taking a look at the schedules, our teams, again, a lot of times on the road in these next few games. Blaine will take on Coon Rapids tonight and Andover here later this week. Centennial at Anoka and then going to go to Tino Grace and then Spring Lake Park taking on Park Center. They're at home, so <laughs> that's exciting. But first, they got to take on Champlin Park on the road. Yeah, that'll be tough. They've got Tampa Park and Maple Grove for the Panthers. I mentioned that tough luck they've had in fifth sets lately. And I did that game, Osseo and Blaine, with uh, former Blaine head coach Celeste Gorman. She had such good things to say about Joy Johnson, who's the head coach for the Spring Lake Park Panthers. Those are tough losses for that team that's fighting hard and battling hard, certainly uh, with a couple of good seniors there. I think they'll come away with a big win. Don't be surprised if they get uh, a big win sometime down the stretch for that Panther team.